Hi friends, Radhika Ravikumaya. So welcome back. Uh, let me continue with the dynamic SQL concepts in this tutorial. So in the previous tutorial, we have already seen what is dynamic SQL, the difference between static and dynamic SQL, and also there are methods of implementing that I have given an introduction to it. So now uh, in this tutorial, we'll see what is execute immediate and how to implement this in our PL SQL. Okay. So what happened is uh, I've already have a few set of uh, queries over here. So the first going to this query. So we know that we cannot use the truncate or drop the DDL commands in our uh, uh, PLSQL directly. For that, we need to make use of this execute immediate. Okay. So what we are doing is we are trying to truncate a table. This is a, a dynamic SQL method where uh, I'm saying begin execute immediate is the keyword. Then I'm saying truncate table and I'm giving a table name. Now let me go to my uh, SQL plus here uh, let me create a table called uh, create table called something as emp underscore dl okay as looked style from emp okay so table has been created we have a new table called um, emp underscore dl you can see here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to truncate the table. So we know that when we are trying to execute it, we are able to get the values and all. So if you want to truncate this table through a PLSQL, we won't be you know able to do that directly. So for that, we are using this executing unit. What I'll do is I'll just change the table name over here, emp underscore dl, right? So now when I execute this command, you can see the PLSQL process successfully completed. Now, when I try to display the contents of it, no rows are selected. So, this is a way of using the execute immediate. So, this is one way. As I said, if in case we don't know, uh, we don't know the column name or table name while uh, doing the compilation, and we will know only when during the runtime. At that time also, the dynamic SQL will come into use. I've already discussed regarding this in my previous tutorial. So, how we can implement this is. Uh, just imagine that uh, you are writing a procedure called uh, DRP, okay, drop, that's what, drop, and it's taking a, a parameter of a uh, varchar type, and what exactly it does is, it just drops the table of whatever uh, table name we are giving during the runtime, okay. So, for uh, again, uh, we are creating a procedure called DRP, and it is taking a parameter of varchar, that's P tab, and what we are doing is, uh, begin we are saying execute immediate then drop the table and the table name we don't know the table name uh, during the uh, you know during the compilation so i'm giving p tab this p tab will be given given during the runtime so this is what the difference between compilation and runtime is hope you guys are understanding so this will be given give, uh, given during the runtime so we'll see how this will work okay so now let me execute this program Let me clear this first. Okay. Okay. Procedure is created, and we know there is a table called uh, select star from emp underscore dl, right? So we know there is a table called uh, emp underscore dl. I'm trying to drop this table. How to do is do this is to say execute, then give the um, procedure name drp, and then give the table name whichever you want to drop within the single quotes make sure because it's a varchar type right so we need to give the uh, table name within the quotes and you can see the table has been dropped now you can see the table or view doesn't uh, exist so what what we what what exactly we are uh, no uh, getting through this is we are we, we will be able to pass the values even through uh, during the runtime. So this is what the main use of uh, uh, execute immediate is. So hope you guys have understood the dynamic SQL. If there are any queries, then please do mail me. And also uh, coming to the advantages of uh, uh, advantages of uh, dynamic SQL is one we saw that we we were able to uh, run the or execute the DDL statements within the PLSQL program. That is one advantage. And second advantage was uh, there, even though we didn't know the table name and column name, 
still we were able to you know execute the plsql program and we were able to provide the values during the runtime so these are the two uh, basic advantages um, that i know of um, dynamic sql so hope you guys have understood and thank you very much for watching if there any queries then please do mail me i'll try to revert back as soon as possible thank you very much for watching